we have a lot in Nigeria that we can go into. Tourism. Because if we want to develop Nigeria, we look inwards. If you look at some of these island countries, Mauritius, uh, and some of these other countries, they are making a lot of money from tourism. In Nigeria, all over the country, we have some very fantastic sites. We have Ikogosi Warm Spring in Ekiti. We have Olumo Rock in Ogun. We have Obunike Cave in Anambra. We have beaches and the rest of them. There was a day I went for MBA conference in 2019 in Lagos. I went to Oniru Beach in VI. About half of the people I saw there that day were whites. So white people come to Nigeria a lot. It's just that most of them uh, spend their time in Lagos and Abuja. If you can open up the space more, uh, develop very sustainable uh, paradigms that can attract these people. When Donald Duke was governor of uh, Cross River, we saw the giant strides that were made uh, in the area of tourism. Tinapa, I know when my sister went to Tinapa, my sisters, my mom, they went to Obudukato Ranch. Uh, they, were, they had so many fantastic things to say. So these are things we can do. Let me even shock you. There was a time I went for my guys, uh, Trad, in Ezago, in Enugu State. So the wife's uh, community is very close to a waterfall. Uh, the thing was like movie. Oh. Somebody said, let's just go. Um, when we went there, I, I saw a waterfall though. But that place was completely undeveloped. Imagine if the government had said, okay, let's develop this site. Uh, you know, put electricity there, do the road, uh, put a small inn. You can develop that place, people will be coming. Once they feel secure, they have a place to sleep, they have food to eat, partner with private uh, companies and individuals. That space is opened up. That place, that, that place can be given that local government tens of millions every month. And they will pay tax it will employ people and the rest of them so this is another area that can be opened up you talk of sports everybody knows that any day you come to stadium for example we are at abakaliki stadium you see hundreds of very talented people those playing soccer those doing boxing playing table tennis badminton volleyball what plan does nigeria really have for these people if you look at other countries you look at for example the usa do you know that sometimes athletic scholarships are given to some people? They can see you and say, okay, this guy is very wonderful. He, he can possibly uh, help our team, our school team. They give you scholarship. You might be an average student intellectually, but because you are an A guy when it comes to sports, they sponsor. So this is something that is sustainable. From We can have academies, functional academies from a young age, under 10, under 15. You know, under 18, we we'll do it in soccer, do it in basketball, boxing, athletics. and the rest. So this is a sustainable way to create jobs, put food on the uh, tables of people, reduce crime and the rest of them.